I'm Nikki, and oops, we're gonna redo that. Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki, and today's video is gonna be just a quick one, a talking video where I'm talking about how to stay on track during a busy week, because we all have them, and it's hard to stay on track during them. Being honest, like it's hard to keep up with your goals. It's hard to eat healthy meals and get your activity in. And these are just some of the tips that I have found help me a ton when I know I have a busy week coming up and I wanna stay on track. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get started talking about it. So the biggest thing around the holidays, and I've mentioned this before, I run a cookie business out of my home and holidays are the busiest season because we have pre-orders. So that means we do these pre-designed sets. They have, we have like a dozen box of cookies, a box with like seven cookies and six cake pops, and then some like paint your owns, or we'll do some like custom little sets that are personalized. But anyway, it is just a very stressful time around here. It is extremely busy. We're trying to get a lot done in a very short amount of time. So the week leading up to the holiday, the holidays are already stressful to begin with, and then the week leading up to it is just crazy. Me pretty much not stop working on cookies. So in the past, those have been like my hardest weeks, and I am sick of them being so stressful. So I finally have started to get a lot more on track with them. I have my stuff ready. I'm ready to go before the week even starts, and it has saved me. These past two pre-order weeks, the Thanksgiving pre-orders I'm just finishing up, and it has been a breeze compared to previous years and Halloween pre-orders went so much better than before and it's because I did these things and so what I did was and I've talked about this before and I'll link the video below but I prep ingredients I don't prep meals because Adam and I get so sick of the same meal Adam honestly would be fine if I like prepped a bunch of meals and we just were eating the same thing every day but I just cannot do that I don't know why it just is I would even eat the meal and then I'm just still hungry. Whatever that food is, I get so sick of it and I can't eat it for weeks. Like it just doesn't work that way. But if I prep the ingredients, it's so different because I can do so many different things with them. So for this past pre-order, what I did was I prepped my veggie mix, which is just a few bell peppers, some zucchini and onion. Usually I just spray some olive oil spray, cook it all up in a pan and keep it in a container in the fridge. And it is such an easy way and flavorful way to add vegetables to any dish like it works with breakfast lunch dinners it works with everything and so i always have pepper mix made and i talk about it all the time and like i said i'll link the video below showing how i make it but it is just such a good way to get veggies in so i did that at the beginning of the week and then i also prepped some turkey burgers so the same video is where i show how i prep the turkey burgers and i just make like 10 of them to have in the fridge and so we have them that night for dinner that i make all of them and then we just use them throughout the week i use them as the meat for my rice bowls we actually just made like a turkey burger wrap the other day that was so good and so there's so many different things you can do with these cooked turkey burgers and they're homemade they're zero points because i just add egg a little bit of panko and seasoning but not enough to even track and i use 99 percent lean turkey so that's always a really good option and then the other thing that i prepped was a big batch of chili because now that we're in cold season we have chili all the time and we love it because there are so many different meals you can make with chili so we made the pot of chili and then we had it that night for dinner but then i also used it to make chili dogs to make chili mac we use even like lean cuisines and then just put the chili on top of it and it is so good we make chili nachos we just have the chili left over sometimes like with crackers there are so many things you can do with it and so having those and i portion them out in containers which i'll link the containers below i get them from sam's club and they're so convenient to just stack a bunch of containers in the fridge like during pre-order week, I just have a bunch of stacked containers and it's so organized, but it's got individual servings of rice that I pre-make, chili that I pre-make. Um, usually I put the turkey burgers in a Ziploc, but anyway, having all that food prepped allows me to make the quickest meals, but they're all different. And so I don't get burned out and it's just so convenient. Like I can whip up a rice bowl where I use a turkey burger, my veggie mix, and a few other vegetables or something like that, or some dip and cheese, like feta cheese and some tzatziki dip. In five minutes, I can have a huge rice bowl that is so filling. I'm getting points back for my veggies and it's just 
such a good option. So that is like my most important thing when it comes to getting ready for the week because meals are the hardest thing to stay on track with. Adam and I would eat out every day if we could. We're through that phase of our life. We still struggle with it, honestly, because there are so many times we just want to eat out, but we have the food ready in the fridge. And so it's then we don't have a choice and we kind of feel like we have to make the food we have at home. So that's been so helpful with us because usually during a busy week, we would just eat every meal out. The next thing I want to say is just to buy simple ingredients too. If you need to buy things that are like prepackaged for the week to help you stay on track, do it if that's going to make it easier for you. So I always make sure I have yogurts on hand just as a quick snack. We have all our protein bars. We really don't ever like not have prepackaged snacks on hand. So that wasn't anything really different I had to change, but it is convenient to have quick snacks that you can also just grab if you just need to take a quick break or if you go into work and you need to pack quick and easy convenient things like Adam does. He has chomps, he has his applesauces, he's got his different snack protein puffs that he likes. And so having those ingredients and those snacks ready helps a lot. Another thing that helps a ton and when you're trying to stay on track, drinking water is so important. And so to remember to drink water, I do two things. I will set a goal for myself, which now it's even easier because using the WW app, you can track every 10 ounces or however you choose to do it. And so that's helped me a lot. And you get a point back after you get 60 ounces. So that's helped me stay on track during like the busy weeks, but also I don't have it with me, but I can link it below. But one of those big water bottles that has the time. And so every hour you're supposed to have drank a certain amount. And so that helps you stay on track if you actually stick to that. But what I do when I'm just like not even thinking about water and I know I need it, but I'm working on stuff. I set myself a timer. So I'll set a timer every hour and at the hour I will chug a water or have a certain amount of water at that time or take a break and drink water. And then after that, I set the timer, I go back to work in another hour, I'll drink my water. So that has helped me stay on track more than I can even explain. Like it might sound ridiculous. Sometimes I'll even do the microwave timer and it just helps me so much to stay on track with drinking my water, which just makes me feel so much better all around because when I'm dehydrated, I can't think straight. I'm crabby. I just, it's not good. So water is so important. And during busy weeks, I used to always push it off and not think about it. And so if you can find a way to remind yourself or reward yourself for drinking it, do that. Another thing that really helps me, and I never used to make it a priority, I would just sit and work for hours and hours. And I would start to even like slow down on my work because I was just dreading it and I just wasn't even like focused anymore, but I didn't let myself take a break because I just wanted to get a certain thing done or something. Take a break. Take five or 10 minutes for yourself to take a break. When you're busy, it will do so much more than you realize for your mental health, for your physical health, for everything. Sometimes it's so hard to take a break from your work and you're just so into it and you think you're going to get messed up or something, but I promise you, it is so good to take a quick refreshing break, get some fresh air. Like I said, drink some water, have a snack, take time away because when you come back, you'll be so much more refocused. You'll be so much more just on point, ready to get your work done. And I've noticed this has helped me tremendously during my busy weeks is actually prioritizing taking a break. So even if it's getting up to walk my dogs outside for 20 minutes or something, or like I said, 10 minutes, take 10 minutes to go upstairs and stretch like that resets everything. I can think about something. I can play music, get my mind off it and get back to work. And I'm so much more productive. And maybe you can't even do that at your job or something, but just in general, when you have a busy week, take time for yourself. Take time to read for 10 minutes. Instead of even going on your phone for 10 minutes, take time to do something that will benefit you because it will help you in the long run to refocus and just get back on track. And then going along with that is just making time for activity. So like I had mentioned before, previous times I did pre-orders, I would take the week off working out, which isn't a bad thing. You don't need to work out every week. Like I'm not saying that, but when I was so used to consistently working out every day and then I would just not be able to, first of all, it made me really anxious because I just wanted to work out. I missed out on working out and I was, and I knew I was missing it. And so that didn't help me because I'm sitting there working and again, focusing on, I should be working out. I want to be working out and not putting my focus into my work. And overall, it just like didn't help me in the long run. So even if it might make it more stressful, maybe you're closer to the deadline then with the work you're doing or something, take the time to get some activity in. Like I said, go walk outside, do some stretches. If you can't spend a full hour at the gym, just do something to get moving or to get fresh air because it will do so much for you. There are so many benefits. And the weeks when I was too busy to do that and prioritize movement, 
affected me mentally and physically and emotionally like so many ways and i have noticed such a difference now when i prioritize i get to go to the gym every day during pre-order week like that was unheard of before and i prioritize my time now i prioritize my sleep on top of activity sleep is so important so if it means you have to see like i said spend a little bit less time on your phone or a little less time doing something you might enjoy to get some sleep get some sleep because it is amazing how much it will help you in the long run and especially on these busy weeks once you get through the week you can sit on your phone as much as you want or once you get through this like stressful time you're trying to stay on track you're trying to have balance and sleep is huge with that and then the last thing that i wanted to mention is that you can pre-track your meals in ww so if you're on ww tracking your food and maybe you struggle to stay on track when you get busy pre-track your meals you can and this is what adam does because he brings all his food to work. So he'll track his breakfast, lunch, snacks, and then all he has to track is dinner when we decide it when he comes home. And so that helps him stay on track because he already tracked the food, he's got it with him, he just eats it then. And he's not having to guess, he's not having to go out to lunch and find something. Same thing with me. If I know I'm gonna have a busy day, I plan because sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes it's not that I'll eat something bad, it's that I just won't eat because I'm so focused on my work. And so when I track a rice bowl, then I'm gonna make the rice bowl later because I already tracked it, so I might as well take the time to eat it and make it. So that's just another thing that's really helped me is pre-tracking my meals so overall it's just really important that you plan ahead like I said you can pre-track you can have ingredients prepped if meal prepping doesn't work for you do the ingredient prep because it really does make a difference get your groceries ready before you start this busy week or busy time be ready to drink your water if it's filling up the water bottle every single morning and then finishing it by a certain time or drinking it a certain amount of times in a day setting a timer if that helps like there's so many different things that you can do to stay on track that it might not seem like a big deal but it makes a difference for your mental health your physical health taking breaks is so important and really it'll just help you to refocus it might not seem like the easy thing to do in the moment or what you want to do in the moment but i promise it does pay pay off and it will help you. So overall, just prioritize how you're feeling and don't be afraid to take care of yourself. Even though it's a stressful week, I get it or a stressful time. I understand it's, it's so easy to like push your eating off or push your activity or all that stuff, but you need to prioritize it because it will help you so much in the long run. So even if it's five or 10 minutes at a time, like to take a break or to get activity in, just work it in and you'll see how much of a difference it makes. And It'll just really help you. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.